This is Alex Muscat from JuniorHockey.com. I'm here with Kirby Reichel of the Windsor Spitfires. How are you doing, Kirby? Good. How are you doing? Good. Uh, thanks for spending the time to chat. Yeah, no problem. Um, first off, congratulations on making Team OHL for the upcoming uh, Subway Super Series. What was your reaction when you got the news? Yeah, it's obviously a you know a tremendous honor to represent the OHL, and you know something I'm really looking forward to. And you know, uh, anytime you can play for. Uh, you know, uh, your league or, or your country, you look forward to that, and uh, you know, you get more to put, uh, put your best foot forward and give the best effort you can. And then, uh, of course, it's up against the Russian national junior team, so that's it's, uh, it's pretty good when it's uh, usually against uh, the, you know the, any team going against Russia. Yeah, uh, it's a huge rivalry. I mean, Canada Russia, you know, goes back for such a long time, and you know they brought a. Uh, they brought pretty much their whole team. You know, they have some uh, highly skilled players coming over. So I'm you know, looking forward to playing against them and uh, looking forward to uh, getting that going. And, and for this year, uh, you're you're off to a start. You've got nine goals, which leads the team. Uh, how, what was your approach coming into this season compared to last season? Well, I think, you know, just be a leader on the team. Uh, you know, it's my third year now, so, you know, i got to lead by example on and off the ice. And, you know, just be a good teammate and uh, help the team run any way that I can. Yeah. You're like the grizzled veteran on the team now. When you first came into Windsor, there was players like Ryan Ellis, Zach Cassian, and Kenny Ryan were winding down their junior careers, and you're almost, in a way, taken, you know, in the same position as they were. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, uh, we've had some guys that have been around here for three years now, you know, Brady Bale, Nick Ebert, and me. So, you know, we just got to keep, uh, keep the guys... Uh, level-headed no matter how good, we're, how good or bad we're doing and just uh, help them out any way we can. And the Spitfires are one of the youngest teams in the OHL. Uh, the team got younger when they got Joshua Singh and Patrick Sanvito and you know other players like Adam Bateman and Jordan Maletta and you know it seems like it, it pro provides some excitement for the team. Yeah for sure uh, we're still a young team but you know uh, we're expected to, you know, uh, make some noise here. I mean, um, you know, our base of our team 94 group, and, you know, it's our third year now. So for the next two years, hopefully we can uh, we can uh, have uh, some good times here and uh, hopefully win a championship. And you're playing on a line with Chris Marchese and, and Josh. Uh, what what makes the line click? Oh, I think, you know, uh, Josh is such an elite player. Uh, you know, he's a world-class player. He's going to be the first round NHL pick uh, next year. And, you know, I think Cheese is, uh, compliments our line well. You know, he does the little things uh, right. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, we're all th we're three, uh, three of us are uh, friends off the ice, so I think that uh, helps too. And what similarities are there between Josh and the player that you played with last year in Alec Alex Kokochev? Uh, You know, I think they're a little bit different. I mean, Coco is more... Uh, Coco is more uh, of a passer, but I think Josh is a really good passer too. But I think you know he's got the, he's got you know some sick moves, and you know he's he brings fans out of his seat. Uh, I mean, and he's, he's a really determined player, and you know uh, he's going to be one uh, in the future that a lot of people are going to be watching. Mm -hmm. And you've made some strides since your playing days with the Bell Tire Hockey Program to to the uh, to the present. With this being your draft year, what are some of the things? you think you need to work on to take your game to the next level? I think maybe just consistency in all three zones. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes when you're playing a lot, it's, uh, you know, it's a task to get on every shift, but, you know, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to do every shift, you know, uh, get noticed somehow and just work hard, uh, work hard all the time. And with, with your dad playing in the NHL, he played 12 years in the pros. He's got a wealth of knowledge. Uh, I'm sure you you picked his brain once or twice on on certain things. Oh yeah, he's helped me out a lot ever since I was young. You know, he's a, and told me how to be a pro on and off the ice, and you know, uh, he's taught me pretty much everything I know about the game, and I wouldn't be here without him. And has has the draft uh, has the draft been your thought process? Well, it's obviously there in the back of my mind, but you know, my goal is helping with this with Friars on hockey and right now, and you know, we'll worry about that in June uh, when it happens. And I'm just going to ask you some some questions. You know, they're they're not they're not wrong. You know, they're all of them are acceptable. Um, you're playing on a line. You got two line mates in, in the NHL. Uh, who who would they be? Um, maybe Sidney Crosby because he's probably the best player in the game. And uh, uh, maybe 
Alex Ovechkin because he's probably the second best guy in the league. Yeah, you gotta you gotta figure out to get these guys you know, to get along on the ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just give, <laughs> give them the puck, puck really and just go to the net. Um, yeah, they, they make things happen out there. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like this generation's uh, Lemieux and Gretzky. Yeah, really. Yeah, and if there's a goalie that's on on the other side of the ice that you want to face on a penalty shot penalty shot type fashion, who would it be? Uh, say Patrick Wall because he's arguably the best player in the game or the best goalie that ever played. So you know it'd be cool to try and score score against him and see what I got. Okay. And when your name is called on onto the ice, what music or what song would would you uh, come out to? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm not too sure. Maybe Hell's Bells or something. I guess that's a classic song. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, good luck to you uh, down the way, and good luck, uh, you know, towards uh, you know the draft. Yeah. Thanks a lot.